Anthony Johnson and John Jones. way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. of Hall of Fame types, Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Johnson is three years his senior. Jones will have a six inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. film from either guys in the UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill. 
and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just working out of that southpaw stance. Nice kick with the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Really using his reach advantage. Straight right hand now just misses. That's a big strike right there. Back to orthodox. Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy here. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks, knees, side kicks. He kicks in so many ways that you never truly know where he's coming from. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Jones' strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, crippling uppercut. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, big punch land. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming defend him and make the fight happen where he wants it to. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Excellent land line there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he knew every... Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Beautiful punch. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, what a fight so far! All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, round two. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back in range. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And that one cut him open. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Nice. And they separate. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. The double leg. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown. He kept on trying and finally got him to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Bottom 
fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Under two minutes to go in round two. Ninety seconds to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Down into his mouth. Five seconds remain in the round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking on bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. focus of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. And there is our UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, all smiles tonight, and rightfully so, after getting it done by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, John! So how about that? We got a new UFC light heavyweight champion, and he looks like he might retain this title for some time, DC. I mean, when you can come through this division, when you can beat all the great fighters at 205 and become the champ, your name will ring bells across all sports. Tonight, this guy became a star.